This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools Unit, Lesson 8, Creating JavaScript Objects, Puzzle 14. All right, create an object and add it to your array. Ooh, I guessed it last, last level if you were watching. Okay, awesome. So now we can, if you've been following along and you should be following along, now we're going to be able to add a contact, right? And it will save this information. I'm going to fill in junk. Boom. And it's going to add an object to our array, right? And that object is going to be a person who added themselves as a contact or who we added as a contact. Great. So let's see how. So create an object and add to your array. Now that you have the values provided by the user, you'll need to actually, you need to actually need to save them huh, in your app. Within your event handler for save con for the save contact button, you'll need to write code that creates that object and then appends it to your appends it to your contacts array. Do this. Your code from the previous exercise is provided. Within the event handler you created from the save contact button, Add code that creates a new object using the values you have pulled from the user interface elements. So when a user enters info, right, by hitting add contact, we want to use those and create a new element to, and create a new object and append it to our array. Run your code and try to add a new contact. When you go back to your show contact screen, you should be able to scroll through to the newly added contact. Debug your program if there are any errors to observe. Oh, they used a Wikipedia. Who's Victoria? Are they going to hit add? Let's see. Oh, Victoria. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. All right, um, great. So we need to be able to save when we add. And they've set us up really nicely because we're already getting the text. So we do need to get the text, but I don't need to output it to the council. Okay, once I have this text, if I'm creating a, um, if I'm going to create a object, I need to be declaring a new object when they hit save, right? So I needed to be declaring a new object when they hit save. So my new object is going to be var new contact, okay? And how I know this is an object is because it has curly brackets. So I set it equal to an empty thing, just the curly brackets, kind of like an array. Well, kind of like you can do with an array, except curly brackets, not square. All right. Now, each of these things, I want to be properties of my new object. So I can get rid of council log, and I need new contact, the object that I just made. And then how do I add a property? Well, I use dot notation. So my new contact dot name is going to be equal to get text name input. So we're going to grab the name input, slam it into this new contact dot name. And so now our new contact object will have a name. And then just like we did up there, we're now going to do it down here. New contact dot uh phone what do we call it okay dot phone dot birthday dot image url dot phone is going to be equal to get text whatever we grab from the user interface uh from the phone input screen right so right here phone input text box so now we want to get the text for birthday and you think i'd remember but i don't it is just dot birthday so now we're going to use dot notation again and our new contact object dot phone oh, dot birthday is going to be equal to get text for the birthday. And finally, our new contact object dot URL image. Did they say image URL? They did do image URL just despite me image url is going to be equal to so each of these variables of our object each of these properties right it's a property we're setting up to be equal to what they're grabbing now this creates this object 
how can we put it on the sh on the array though right now it's just this separate random object called new contact it's not even called like contact one contact two it's kind of weird but what's great about this is there's a really easy way to make sure that well the name won't actually matter and we can access it in our array just like all the others so we can just keep looping through and if we add 17 things it won't matter because we can just loop through our array and keep going right the size changing won't impact us and we'll still be able to access that information if we just tack them on to the array so how do we add something to the array well we use append item handy dandy append item and what was our array called our array is called contacts comma and then what is our object it is new contact and now new contact will hopefully be part of will hopefully be part of our array. What's this grumpy about? Oh. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Huh? Add contact. Name. Kurtzkaiser. Phone number. No. Blah, blah, blah. Birthday. I'm old. And I happen to... Do I have an image URL saved? Yes, I went and copied a URL uh, for my image. So let's hit save contact. Okay, hopefully that did something. And now I'm going to hit some arrow keys. Friend three. But uh And my image worked. Awesome. Super cool. And this is how arrays, well, one of the million arrays, arrays and objects, and combining them um, are super powerful tools. Awesome. Let's uh, keep going.